Hello people, welcome to our channel Netcracker. Here we are going to teach you few subjects on computer science related to net exams so that people who are like preparing for GRF and the lecturership exam for CBSE net they are most welcome here to study computer with us. So in this we are going to teach you the main subjects and the main topics from those subjects which are mostly asked in the exam of net so today we are going to study with computer graphic as we know that there are a number of algorithms with the help of which we can draw a few suppose lines or any shapes on the computer so for that we have number of algorithms and today we are going to cover DD algorithm which means data differential algorithm. So whenever we want to draw a line on a computer we need to know the specific address or the specific point from where we need to start our line and where to end. Suppose here we have drawn a portion of a screen with number of pixels and over here we have seen that a line is starting from a point 1 1 and it is going up to 6 6 so over here we can see that every time when we move in the uh, x direction we see that the value of x is incrementing in every point but at some portions we can see that the value of y is not incrementing which is because like here we can see that the y value of y is constant so over here we it forms a staircase right so this is the basic drawback of data uh, differential algorithm that it forms a staircase not a complete straight line on a uh, computer screen because of the pixels so the basic thing about this algorithm is that we need to know the slope of a line and over here we need see that a and b are two points with the coordinate 3, 4 and 5, 7. So firstly we need to calculate the slope of a line which is delta y upon delta x which means that y1 minus y0 upon x1 minus x0. Suppose this was uh, x0, y0 and this is y1 and y0. So we have subtracted 7 minus 4, 5 minus 3 which gives us 3 upon 2 and we divide it and we get 1.5. So on the basis of the value of slope, we have three conditions which we need to follow. Over here, we can see that slope of a line is m is equal to 1.5. Okay, so uh, the case 1 means when the value of m is less than 1, in that case, we can see that the value of x is in being incremented by 1 and the value of y is being incremented by the slope, which means that we are adding this slope value into y okay and uh, on the other hand we can see that uh, when the value of m is equal to 1 in that case both the value value of x and the value of y both are being incremented by 1 right and in the third case we can see that uh, when the uh, value of m is greater than 1 in that case the x is being incremented by x plus 1 by m and y is being incremented by 1. So these are the three conditions and one of these conditions will be used in every question. right? So we need to remember that when the value of uh, m is less than or equal to 1 or equal to 1, what is going to happen? right? On this concept, we are going to take one question in the next video. Okay, so for now, just remember this these three cases of slope okay thank you